Hold on. Wait a minute. Where are the scenic mountains? Where is the scenery we're used to? You're going the wrong way. Well, today we are going away from the mountains. Today we are going to drop a little bit of history. Because back in 1781, something took place. Wow. One of the only double, double envelopment campaigns in military history took place in this area. Now, for those of you asking what is a double envelopment, well, from what I can tell, it is where two military forces basically pinch an opposing military force and hit them from both directions at the same time. Now, if you've done your math and you know your history, 1781, that was during the Revolutionary War. And where we are headed is Calpin's Battlefield. Now, used to, when I was little, schools would bring us out here to the battlefield, tell us about the history and everything like that the soldiers moving down from the north coming in through Charleston Savannah Georgia and working their way up they taught us about all that nowadays military history isn't as big isn't as isn't taught as much and oftentimes it's just a black eye on history from the way they teach it. Anyway, nowadays, because the schools don't visit it as much and don't teach it as much, you've got people that have picked over it with metal detectors and everything else, keep coming out here looking for musket balls or something. And it's just because it's become more of a money thing than it has educational. Now basically, from what I can tell, the British forces were leading two campaigns. They were leading one up in the north. And they were leading one up in the south, or down in the south. But the first couple of battles in the south, basically they got big heads and thought they could take over the south easily. Now they sent a ragtag group of soldiers in here and what they realized is these people up in the backwoods wasn't willing to give up their area is quite so easy and history tells you they put up one hell of a fight and it was the turning point for the southern campaign for the British basically they told them to get the hell out of here and gave them good reason to do so You got your visitor center there. That's a school bus. I don't know how far back in here I can get. Now back in 1781, this was just all pasture and open field. And the way they used to fight back then is they would just line up in straight lines and just shoot muskets at one another because the muskets they weren't very accurate and they didn't have a long range on them so 
So a lot of times they would find pastures like this and the battle would actually be predetermined. Okay, we're gonna meet on the battlefield at nine o'clock and the battlefield is gonna be here. That type of stuff. Well, I'm pretty sure that's probably how this one started out. But the North didn't realize that they had that second military group coming in. Be quite a surprise trying to fight on two different fronts at one time. Especially back then. Last time I was out here, I was about hmm, maybe five, six, seven years old, something like that. So, that's been quite a while. Back then, it was pretty much just a field. Looks like I need to bring a street sweeper. We're not going to picnic, but um, we're going to take a ride up to in here. As you can see, if you do visit, they do have a couple of trails that you can walk. Pretend like you were a soldier marching through these, this area. So they didn't have cars and stuff like that back in. They had a couple of horses, but you can imagine marching all the way from Charleston, which is about three and a half, four hours south of here, by car. That would have took them um, weeks to get up here, just to march through area like this. Now, if you've ever been around down near Charleston, that's it's marshy area. So they would have lost uh, probably a lot of soldiers to the marsh, to the mosquitoes. And then I had to come up here and do it through this. back here I'm pretty sure that's been built since 1781 
I will if I want to. Battlefield Trail. Already out here in the boonies. If you get too far off in the boonies, you end up in BFE. Battlefield parking area. Let's see if we can get up in here. See you in January 1781. I can tell you one thing in this area, there in January, it can get pretty cold. Calpian's Battlefield is off of South, Car South Carolina Highway 11. In Calpian, South Carolina, which is just outside of Chesney, if you're interested in visiting. Also, if you this video interested you, go ahead and hit that like, that thumbs up, subscribe, Drop a comment if you want to see some more of these history type videos. I just may have to crack open a history book for you.